Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome back to my little coin universe. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas Hardcore. Um, we were at Black Mountain because I forgot to do something. I still have um, Brotherhood of Steel. Now this is Tabitha's room. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. A whole bunch of notes. Oh, activate ham radio. Last picture, what's this? Activate radar console. Okay. Repair note three, what's that? Okay. And the trunk. Oh goodness. We're taking all this ammo. Taking all this ammo. Yeah, we got enough. Some serious ammo. Okay, this thing. Install the remote so connect to radar into other detection? Yeah. Immediately, a small green light begins pulsing, indicating that it has begun transmitting. Huh. So that finishes that one. Ham radio. Is that it? I'm gonna leave it on. Okay, was there anything over here? No. And that was it. Now it's returned to the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, guys, well, um, but we're going to take a side mission. We're actually, Hidden Valley's pretty close. I think it's just down there. Um, let me go ahead and turn this in, actually. That'll be easy. This won't hurt. Yeah. Um, and I'm kind of afraid of doing that, because now I have to go back down the radio path. Or maybe I can jump through. Oh, no, maybe I can do this now. Can I sneak past this now? It's locked hard. Damn. Um, I don't want to have to go down the radiated path again. Damn. Is there like a way out from here? I wonder. Well, I might jump the fence. Yeah, let's see if I can jump the fence. Let's see if I can jump. Yeah, I can jump the fence, I'm pretty sure. No, I can't. <laughs> it's not even close to it. Oh, uh, well, sorta. There we go. Yeah, they're gonna be stuck, and that's fine. There's a coffee mug in there. Okay, guys, well, we're gonna go... Oh, it's glitching out there. Probably not supposed to be on here, but that's fine. Um, so let me go and act as though... Eventually, they'll transport to me. But I'm going to go and head back to McNamara and let me know. Oh, Elder, I have some stuff for you. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I installed the device. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then... It is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I am afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for yeah. your use. It's I don't really want power armor, though. But it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? <laughs> Don't I just put it on? <laughs> if only it were that simple. Think of power armor as a machine to be operated, rather than clothing you'd wear. With a little instruction, using it becomes as natural as simple movement. But to the ignorant, it's just so much heavy junk. So let's bring you up to speed, shall we? Please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. Yeah, I'm over encumbered. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember, that you will always have a home here. I'm glad he was done. 
Oh, okay. I still am so slow, and part of that is Rex running into me. Okay, so I gotta figure out what to do with this power armor, because that's kind of crazy. I know what I'm gonna do next, is I know with, um, I know with uh, Boone, that I left him at the entrance, um, I know with Boone that, where is it? It's called Camp Springer Station Delta Alpha. Camp Golf. Move it there. Oh. It's not gonna be fun. Brother Steel Safe House. Oh, nice. And then Bitter Springs. So, what we're gonna deal with is we're gonna over to Camp Golf. And um, I will see you guys over there. Just one second. We deal with all this stupid heavy ass power armor. I don't really want it, but. Well, you know, it might be worth showing people what it looks like. Let's put it on. Items. Oh, my. If I take off my cowboy hat, then I can't wear it. Okay. Let's see what we look like. Wow. <laughs> so that's the power armor on me. I don't really want the power armor. I just want to finish the quest. I'd rather want that, though. But I do need to get rid of this power armor, though, and I'm going to figure it out. But I will see you guys in one second here. Okay, so here we are at Camp Golf. First thing I'm going to be concerned about is going to go heal. Because um, that's... Cause I need to talk to... Nelson's back. Glad to see you. Need a patch job? Yes, very much so. This doesn't look too bad. We'll have you good as new in no time. Here's 50 caps. All right, just hold steady. You want a shot of whiskey to calm your nerves? Mind if I have one? <laughs> <laughs> Little doctor humor there. Okay, and then I also See, need to. See, that wasn't so bad. Anything else I can do for you? Well, doctor, anything you can do would be great. He's actually pretty good. Uh, heal my radiation. No, sorry, we're totally unprepared to deal with radiation sickness. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course I can't. Okay. So you got this might tickle a little. Or it might cause searing, agonizing pain to shoot through your body. You never know. <laughs> That's great. And... Am I gonna... Okay. Did I... Did I get healed? Okay, I guess I'm healed. Um, what's my radiation then? Let's see it. Uh, stats. Status. Alright, is at zero. Um, I do have a really high H2O. And my food and sleep. My sleep is not bad. I just need to eat and drink a bit. And then I can solve. That's actually a quick thing right here. Items. Uh, where's my, like, 20... There we go, gecko steak. That's not the one I'm thinking... I made like 20, is it prickly pear? Yeah, I did. So I ate four of them. Okay. So let's go talk to Sergeant McCready. Oh, one part four. Oh yeah, because this is the old golf course. Oh, that's funny. So I guess, is he the in charge? Are on their way from Baja. He's in charge. Oh hell, what is it now? Uh, how'd you end up at Cat Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. I do. Oh. So what do you know? What do you do now? The fighting's died down. Mostly drill the troops, try to keep the discipline up, and combat readiness high. It's not the easiest job in the world. Soldiers without a mission get bored very easily. Still, with the Legion just across the river, we have to be ready. Sounds like they're disappointed. Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. <laughs> they're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. 
maybe if I can help him with some shit. Yeah, maybe if I can, maybe I can help you whip him into shape. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, whatever. Wow, thanks. That's a great response. Okay, so what do I deal with? Oh, there's like four of them. Talk to the misfits. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. What happened? Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. Can you tell me about your squad mates? They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Brass kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. What do you think? How do you end up in the army? Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. <laughs> all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we got to do, though. Oh, why are you so afraid of fighting? I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Hmm. What do you think about Camp Golf? Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Sergeant McCray asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. To me? Well, I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. What do you mean? Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. So you think I should find ways to convince the misfits to get along? That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. Okay. I'll try and convince them. Okay. Hey, goodbye. Toodaloo. Convince Megs, convince Raz to respect the squad. Megs and Raz. What about Poindexter? Who's over there? Uh, well, let's go talk to Poindexter. Is that him? I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? How'd a guy like you end up in the army? It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient <laughs> to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. It sounds like you got it together. Tell me about yourself. To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius. Well, fuck. When I'm I hope you do get killed then. Testosterone and failure. I'll have all the money I could ever need. It was funny when people talk about testosterone as they are men. Are you in charge of anything? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by okay, far the most you're gonna intelligent fucking die. and <laughs> I want to shoot you in the face just to be. I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. I doubt they do. I really do. Maybe you can help get this unit into shape. Hmm. You're trying to appeal to my ego. I must admit it's an effective tactic. All right, I'll help. But only because I want to see if it's even possible. Okay. Goodbye. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Probably. But I don't want to deal with that. I gotta convince all these people. It's Megs. Yeah, Raz is pretty scary looking. Ah oh, shit, here comes the brown noser. What you want? Know anything about your squad mates? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. Yeah, I got her that. Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? <laughs> That's charming. It's all good to know team building is alive and well. Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I gotta give him a shot. So what's your story? I'm curious ain't now. Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west, in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know. I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. Oh. Okay. Right. 
Oh, and then I gotta up my stuff. So my guns... What's my speech at? My speech is at 100, so if I up that... My guns... My explosives is as high as it needs to be. Um, why don't I up my... Yeah, I only need 80. Um, why don't I up my science by 5? And then put the other bit 3 points into barter. I think. Yeah. Okay. And now we're going to go talk to Megs. Hell of a battle at Nelson. I'm impressed our troops survived. How'd you end up assigned to Camp Golf? Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. <laughs> Maybe. Sounds like you aren't too fond of your squad mates. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. Maybe if you tried to lead by example instead of tearing them down. You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. You know what? Out of all the three ones, definitely not Poindexter. Fuck you. Okay, goodbye. Sure. See you around. Okay. So I go talk to him now? This is an interesting episode. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. <laughs> How's that human niceness working Boy, out? Boy, the squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Oh. Doodaloo. Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Well, we are screwed. Hello. Um, wait. The squad, the squad really seems Shit. to be working together. I did that wrong. It's nice for a change. I was supposed to help Meg's advice. Okay. Let's reload. You guys have already seen their, um, you guys have already seen their little bits. Yeah, let's talk to Megs. I already know what they're all going to say. O'Hanran was interesting. Raz, we got his backstory. I never did get Megs' backstory. But she seems like the most sensible Hello. of all of them. Hell of a battle at Nelson. I'm impressed our troops survived. Um, Sergeant McCready asked me to about, talk to you about getting your squad in shape. He did, huh? Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. Oh. Can't be as hard as that. What needs to get done? Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range. Shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. I'm sure the others have their own ideas, though. Yeah. Uh. Let's get them out to the range. Well, actually, let me talk to them. Okay. I'll be here if you come to your senses. Yeah. Okay, so his was talking to people. I thought it was... Shit, here comes the brown noser. What do you want? Uh, about getting your squad in shape. Yo, I'll tell you what this squad needs. A healthy dose of angry juice. Angry juice? Psycho. The big <laughs> red one. I used to run with the fiends. I still got the hookups. Smuggle some in and you'll see an improvement. Now, on second thought, I'll talk to this first. Whatever. Uh, so we know his story. Right. Um, cause I didn't want to mess with McCready. I wanted to... The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the Army or the Rangers. What can I do for you? I was about getting your squad in shape. That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? He thinks he might respond better as someone who isn't an authority figure. Well, this is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. <laughs> Maybe I can help out. I still feel so smart now, huh? It's better. Your insults are both unhelpful and unwanted. I'll thank you to keep them to yourself. Going back to the squad improvements. Oh, fuck you. I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> I somehow... Yeah, I, I probably won't. Watch me not, okay? Megs, you sound a little bit better. You're a little bit selfish and conceited. I'm not but. supposed to know this, but I hear they're dispatching elite ranger units from California to deal with the Legion. Yeah. It's about those improvements. Yeah, what about it? I told you we need marksmanship and explosive handling improvements. Okay, let's get them out to the range. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. 
I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. I'm sure. Let's do it. You're the boss. Okay. Okay, let's, let's kind of push her, actually. Just make it go a little bit faster. Okay. Because... <laughs> Oh, okay. Is she jumping back into position? Okay. The ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before, but I heard they chew nails and spit napalm. <laughs> We're all lining up. Okay, maggots. Okay, everybody's lined up and ready to go. Any suggestions? Take positions where you can cover each other. Stay focused. You heard the man, people. Get focused. Take your time. Pick your shots and tell your squad mates who you're shooting at. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. Exhale before you fire. Squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. Right. Exhale. Squeeze. Focus on the shot. Well, I think that went well, don't you? Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. Oh god, that was close. Wait a sec. Oh, I've glitched. Fuck. Have I glitched? Like, am I gonna never be able to do this? Yeah, I think I might. My thing is glitched out. Let me... What was I at? When I bumped this up to 13, right? Okay. Wow. The big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? The shooting range process take care of things? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection to pass. Get the troops lined up. I'll help you with After that. the help you gave us at the shooting range, we'll take any advice you've got. I'll line them up. Uh, Boone? How about you come over here, Boone? Okay, Boone. Wait. I'll sit tight. Yeah, you will. Okay. More checks. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. We're all set. Okay, start the pull. Okay, to start, pull the pin. Let it cook off for a count of three, then throw. Right. Easy enough. One, two, three. Oh. Don't pitch it like a baseball. Lob it. If you want a good arc, so want a good solid arc. Solid arc. Check. Lob them up and over, people. Don't worry about accuracy. Use grenades to break up clusters of enemies. Break up clusters of enemies. Hold the grenades for groups, squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. I think that went well, don't you? Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. Oh, jeez. Gonna back up. God. Did Poindexter run away? Okay. Meg. Wow. The big celebrity down here with the... How's the squad doing? Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. Sweet. Hello. Finish flags of our fellows. And there we go. So the next bit is off to. Um. Well actually, let me check how much time I got. <laughs> I don't want to see how much time I'm running at. Okay, so it turns that I'm. It turns out that I'm already kind of pushing it past. Um, pushing it past uh, like 25 minutes, so I'm gonna have to cut this into cut this right now. So. Um, Nix is off to Bitter Springs and Ranger Station Bravo. I'm tempted to just cross the river and see if I can make it that way. Because I'd be scared of... Well, I gotta do Ranger Station Bravo, because if I look at quests and I go return to sender... I go return to sender... Just Bravo left. Just Bravo. 
Yeah, there's just Bravo left. Uh, so anyways, guys, I'm going to cut it here, and I will see you next time. We'll deal with Registration Bravo, then we'll deal with Bitter Springs. Okay, talk to you later.